Okay, whatever. Um, yes. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, we're going to be doing a little haul real quick with things that I got during quarantine. It's not just out of boredom. These are things that I've wanted in general, but it happens to be quarantine right now. So... I think it's it just it's a little more hurtful because I'm not working as often as I would usually be. So it's just a little like eek when you're like buying a bunch of stuff and not getting a bunch of money back. Kind of like uh, it's a little touchy so i got a couple different orders in the past week or so so if you guys want to see all the things i got you just can keep on watching so basically i got some stuff from fashion nova some stuff from morphe and something from hip dot cosmetics but i'm gonna start with all the makeup stuff i got and then i'll show you my fashion nova haul it'll be like a whole try on video i like already filmed it i'm wearing one of the shirts from it now you can see that later just stay to the end of the video to see it but first i'm just gonna show you guys like all the makeup i got so first we're gonna start off with hip dot since i only got one thing from them i saw this on instagram it was definitely an ad from hip dot they had a spongebob themed collection <laughs> like i'm gonna show you guys like the whole collection i didn't get the whole collection because i didn't want everything especially because a lot of it i mean not a lot of it but some of it would just been like a waste like they had lip glosses and one of them was like teal like what do i have to do with teal lip gloss and then they also had the bronzer and blush palette and that bronzer was not doing anything for me that'd probably be a highlight like a highlighting powder on me and the blush could have been like a eyeshadow like i'm not doing anything with any of that so i could have gotten like a whole collection for 55 dollars if i used the code blah 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 but i was like i'm not gonna use the whole collection if i bought it i'd be spending extra money and just wasting them and have extra stuff here so i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna just buy the palette and the palette was $36, I believe. It would have made more sense, I guess, if I would have bought the whole thing. But I knew I was going to waste it. And the extra $20 could have just stayed in my pocket. So, whatever. But anyways, this is the palette. Isn't this... Y'all, this is so... Look at how it's holographic. And ooh, this is so cute. It's Hip Dot X SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Eyeshadow Palette. I just think this is so cute. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I did like a poll. I was like, oh my god, guys. I just saw this palette. Like, should I buy it? Yes or no? And everyone was like, yes. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Whenever I want something, I tend to not buy it right away. I like to like put it in the car and then look around and stuff. And if I remember it later, then I'll go back to it and then buy it. But if I forget about it, that means I didn't need to buy it anyway. So that's how I keep myself from spending too much money. I was like, I have to buy it. Even if I don't use it, like at least I can like have a SpongeBob palette. Like, come on, it's limited edition. Okay, look at the colors. The colors? aren't really something that I would normally gravitate to in a palette, but it is Spongebob themed, so it kind of works with like Spongebob, Patrick, Mr. Krabs. So that's Spongebob, Squidward, Patrick, Mr. Krabs. And I guess that's just like a highlighting color in the corner. The names are so cute. Like I said, this isn't like, I didn't buy the palette for the colors really. I bought it because it was Spongebob. <laughs> Look at him right there. This is like my childhood dream and I would I would use this palette like I would I would use it like it's not like anything I've had, I bought worse palettes that's all I'm saying so it's like I can't support Spongebob like come on we could buy a Spongebob palette just for the packaging alone this palette is worth it oh yeah Sandy Sandy's the other color Century Dome Bikini Bottom Blue Best Shade Ever Lumbo Penny Pincher Coral Floral Angry Tentacles Imagination Meow 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 Jumping Jellyfish, Rock Bottom, Deep Sea Blue, Golden Pineapple, Blue Lagoon, Advanced Darkness. I don't know what Advanced Darkness is, but everything else I basically get. Like, it's just so cute. It's just such a cute palette. Like, you can't even get mad. Like, I'm not even mad that I probably won't use it. Like, I'm just, like, just happy to have it in my collection. This is the back of it in case anyone wanted to see it. It's just super pretty. So the next thing I got was from Morphe. So, Sweetie came out with a collection. I'm pretty sure it was, like, Coachella themed. But then, you know, coronavirus came and canceled Coachella. I'm so kind of messed up the vibe, but either way, it's called the 24A Artist Pass palette. And then this is her Icy Lips by Sweetie. This one, I was super excited to get. As soon as it came out, not because it's Sweetie, 
because honestly, I, I could care less about collabs. Even if it's someone I love, it's like, oh yeah, look, sweetie, like, in the palette's trash, I'm not gonna buy it. Like, it's, that's just, I like sweetie, but the palette's trash. Sorry, not gonna get it. But this palette, this palette spoke to me, okay? Let me just open it for you guys because I don't think you understand. Ready? Are you kidding? She snapped, like, I don't know if she picked these colors or like what, but the star chunks? Bro, I know you saw them star chunks, them star glitters. Those were really got me to look at it. And the bottom, like, oh, the bottom row, like, I can't. This palette goes crazy. I was like, dude, I forgot how many monies I spent on this. I'll have it, you know, somewhere, but. This palette was super cute, super freaking cute. So I was like, no, I have to get this. This, I have to get. This is just so pretty, all of these colors. She got a brown in there, and I could, and the crease. She got transition colors. And then there's also pops and this glitter. Oh, this is beautiful. This one was worth it for me, even though I had to wait freaking, like, I don't even know how long to get all this stuff. By the way, that was the most annoying part about ordering during this freaking quarantine, the delays. Oh my god, I want to kill myself. Like, I placed one, I believe, Friday the 10th. I think that was the Fashion Nova one. And I didn't get it till today. I placed the other one, which was the Morphe one, the 13th, I want to say. And I didn't get it till today. Oh, today, by the way, <laughs> is the 20th. And then the Hip Dot one, surprisingly, I placed it, like, the 14th. So that was Tuesday, and I got it that Friday. But everything else wanted to take like a week and a half to get here. Like, I can't. But either way, we're gonna get over it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. I always forget this one. I got a third thing <laughs> in the Morphe, and then we're done with Morphe. I got the Arch Obsessions five piece brow kit. Looks like this in the box. I only got this one because I think my order wasn't coming up to 50. I think it had to come up to 60 or something. So then I was like, let me add this. And this was like $15. So I can get to 60 or 50 or whatever the number was to get free shipping. Because I'm like, it was dead bringing me up to like $60. Just in general. So it's like, I might as well just add something and get free shipping. Pay like four more dollars to get free shipping. So either way, this comes in like that. And... Yeah, I, I figured it couldn't hurt to get eyebrow stuff. Like, I'm, all my eyebrow pencils for some reason keep breaking. So I got this. It comes with, like, an eyebrow pencil, a gel, all that. And this I got in the color Chocolate Mousse. I hope it's not too light. I didn't want to get too dark of a color, but, like, I didn't want it to look stupid on me either. It comes with, like, a little brow cream, which is kind of like the Anastasia the brow type thing. It looks super creamy though and wet. Looks looks way wetter than Anastasia one. Um, also comes with Oh Brow Baby, which is like a little I think brow highlighter. Comes with a brow gel, like a little clear gel. Okay, I can't do this. But yeah, I got a little brow gel, and then it came with a brow pencil, and then a brush. So that's what comes in the five-piece set. So now you guys can finally get to the part where you probably clicked on the video for, is the try-out haul, where I show you guys all my Fashion Nova fits. Um, yeah, so here it is. Hey guys, welcome to the try on part of the video. I usually don't film videos like this, but whatever. Let's see how it goes. We're just gonna get right into it. You heard the lady, we got a bag. I forgot what all these things look like. So we're gonna go through this together. So first thing I'm dipping in the bag and grabbing. Oh. Hmm, I just, Hope it fits. It looks pretty big for a medium and it's kind of thin. Not gonna lie. I'm just gonna try it on. I'm just gonna see. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, wait, this is cute. I'm wearing a bra under this, so I'm gonna take it off. It's like a little like lounge bra. I'm just gonna 
take that off because it's kind of ruining it for me. This is so cute. Wait, I take everything I said back. This is so cute. Uh -uh. This is so pretty, super wrinkled, but we're not gonna think about that part. Look at this. This is like a. Oh, hold on. This is so cute. No, I like this. No, I, I like this a lot. Hold on. All it needs is like a little, like iron steam, maybe. I don't know. Maybe just let it sit out for a little bit. But this is super cute and trendy. Like, you know, all the shirts with the little ties. Oh my god, I love this. No, I really, I really, 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 really love this. <laughs> I'm so ready for out of quarantine. I hate when it always comes with some stuff. And it's like, what is this? Oh, this was like a cowl neck shirt. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, and then the sides are ruched. Oh, ho, ho, ha, ha. I got mad cute shirts. Ah, okay, let me set this one up. Okay. Oh, it's only ruched on one side. Okay. Okay, I'm not loving the cow neck. I thought it was going to be cuter. It's just like a lot like either this or that like not really anything that's flattering I thought it was gonna be like I don't know I don't know like <laughs> pick one like it's literally just and I got some boobs so I figured it would kind of look cute like a little I don't know looks kind of weird maybe it's like it'll naturally settle if I stop like messing with it but like it's, it's like a cute shirt I'm not mad at it um yeah, I'll probably keep it. Like, I don't know. This is kind of awkward. This is just such an awkward shirt. Maybe, I think it's the pants that's throwing me off too. I'm wearing shorts. I think I need to put some, like, pants on to see what it would look like. Hold on. So I think I got two boyfriend jeans. These are Get Ready Distressed Boyfriend Jeans in medium blue wash, size 13. Because your girl's a little. Okay. Oh, man, please fit. Okay. We're having, like, a whole malfunction up here. Okay. Ready? Okay, these are size 13. People kept saying order up, so. Okay, feeling a little snug at 13. Whew. I got them though, I got them. Back is a little, a little loosey, but I got them. Thighs a little, just a little, um, you know. My thighs, yeah, that's pretty standard. How does the booty look? Is it popping or is it flopping? Like, I don't know. Oh, this is a way better angle, I think so. Did you guys think so? I don't know. Do you think so? Is booty popping or what? Um, kind of, maybe? I don't know. These jeans are cute. I think so. I like these jeans. And I like the shirt way more because I think it naturally fell. I like the shirt way more now. And I, I like the fit. This is a cute fit. This is a fit right here. This is a little barbecue moment, maybe. These are boyfriend jeans, mom jeans. Super tight right here. Kind of weirdly tight right here. And then loose at the bottom. You can see the rips. Loose. I like. Alrighty. Let's move on. Oh! Ah ah. Hold on. I was gonna say, I think I should have. Oh, I got a little bit of deodorant on it, but it's fine. I was just about to say, like, I think I should have gotten a medium, but hold on, small. Okay, ignore the deodorant. Definitely ignore the deodorant, but, like, it doesn't look like it's squeezing me or anything. This is pretty cute. Okay, okay. It is not see through. Bye. Who said it was see through? This is great quality, guys. Are you kidding? Look at this. Look at this freaking top. I'm gonna raise this a little bit just so I can show tops more comfortably, but I think this is a great height for the video. Sorry the camera keeps moving so much, but like this is my first time filming a video like this. But are you dumb? Like, I love this top. Why? I'm about to make mad TikToks. <laughs> but yeah, these pants, this top, super cute. Super cute, super lit. Ignore my little pudge, guys. I'm shy. But, yeah, I still want to make this video. This is super cute. Oh, my God. Um, super cute. I'm going to put on those little hoops and be like... <laughs> Hold on, I'm planning on getting a little belly piercing right here, so. Ah, ah, and then the, the shirt with 
the best. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah, will look cute. Okay, okay. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change. These are good so far. Look at this. Just a black camisole. Flowy, loose, and it has like little lace lining at the top. I thought it was super cute. Okay, I'm not mad. I feel like this might come up a tad too high. I think I would like it just like right there, maybe. Yeah, just a little right there. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. It's cute, simple. Let me just tuck this in. Little. Oh, is this a real pocket? Hey, it's a real pocket. Hey, look at that. Huh? Hollister. Abercrombie who? Hollister who? Hollister model? Hollister, come sign me. What? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Like, are you kidding? This is super cute. Ignore me if I keep doing that. First of all, I love these jeans. <laughs> I love these jeans. They make it everything a vibe. And then the shirt is just icing on the cake. Like, this shirt is cute. This is cute. Okay. I love it. Love it. Again, definitely a vibe. I'm liking everything. So let's just keep it going. Oh, this is the one. Maybe I should talk to the mirror, so I'm talking to you guys. This is the shirt that you see everyone wearing with the long sleeve and the, all that out. So we're gonna try this on. I just realized I got a lot of black, even though summer is coming up. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Good job. Oh my God. Okay, so definitely gonna have to fix this because, <laughs> let me fix this real quick. Okay, that's better. That's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah. Okay, this is so cute. Um, will I ever really work up the nerve to wear this anywhere? That's a great question. Oh, oh my god, it just got cuter. It just got cuter because I pulled it down. It got way cuter. Hold on. Yeah, let, that's a great question. I don't know, but I really love this shirt. The large is definitely the best choice because I can actually like stretch out my hands and it covers and definitely good looks to the comment section at Fashion Nova. That's why I always recommend reading the comments on things because I would have definitely got the medium and it would have been too small. I would have been tight. The large is perfect. Oh my god, I'm so happy. This looks so good. Do ah! it! <laughs> okay. Okay, whatever. Um, next fit, next fit, next fit. So I only have dresses left. I got three more dresses and two pants. So actually, let me try on the pants next and then I will do dresses. Okay, these. I mean, they fit really nice and they feel nice on. Um, I just don't love it the way I love the other one. It's like kind of... I don't know. I think I really bought these. Not definitely not with this shirt. So 100%. I just don't think about the shirt, but like by itself, I don't love it. But I love the way it fits like up here. But down there, it doesn't look the best. Let me just try uncuffing it, maybe. Okay, I definitely like it better. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I'm gonna keep them. Um, they're not the favorite. Those are like way better, but these aren't the worst. These are definitely more mom jeans than boyfriend jeans, but you know, I don't hate them. I, I definitely don't hate it. Does it make me look kind of boxy? Sure. Sure. Maybe that's what I don't like about it. I do look pretty boxy in it. If I was like snatching me a little more, maybe I would like it a little more, but whatever. How do you do the butt pose to make your butt look nice? Like this? I forget. Something like that. But yeah. Okay, now on to dresses. Okay, so this dress is simple, it's basic, nothing too crazy, nothing too out there. You know, you can't really hate it, can't really love it. I mean, you can love it. Can't really hate it. I would wear this with like, and then I feel like that just makes it look so much better. Just like a little jean jacket moment. I like to get these dresses so that like on it's like a summer day and I'm running a Target or like I just want to go get something real quick or blah, blah 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 I can just put a dress on real quick and it's super simple, super soft, super, super sleek put a jean jacket on with it and it looks super cute uh, uh, 
Uh, so I don't hate it. I hate my little fupa, of course, but I don't hate the dress. The dress is cute. The dress did its thing. The dress did what I bought it to do. Oh, hold on. Figure. Hello. Look, you see the- look in the mirror. Don't look at me. Look in the mirror. hey yo. Hey yo. Okay. I was- oh! Ew! Hold on. hey yo. Okay. Alright, <laughs> next dress. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This one I remember looks super cute on the model. I hope it looks super cute on me. It looks kind of thin. Um, a little cheap, not gonna lie. Hopefully it doesn't look like this on me. It looks short. Uh, I don't know if I remember it being this short. I don't know. Um, just try it on. I don't know where it looks like this. Maybe like in this angle it looks kind of cute, but like I don't. I don't know about this one. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. This material is weird. It's not thin, but it's not thick. I don't even remember what this dress is supposed to look like because seeing it on me it looks like a hospital dress that they just added ruffles to and this was the one I was most excited about guys it definitely looks like an Easter type dress or something maybe a belt <laughs> okay so yeah no this one might this one might have to go back. Nope. Nope. Um nope. Not feeling it. Nope. The back looks like it's about to be like cute and maybe normal. Cause it's just like, ooh, slimming. Ooh, little A-line. Cute. And then the front is like, what the hell? What is this? <laughs> like it looks like a slip gone bad. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. <laughs> This one might have to go back. Yeah, this one looks like a failed art project. Anyway, now that that's over. Um, hmm, like that line to be under the boob. I just wish I looked a little more snatched. I feel like everything would look better if I was a little snatched. I don't hate it. Like, yeah, I need to be in here. No more of this. <laughs> if I was like that, sure. Yeah, we like it if it was like that, but I'm not. Super cute. This was just like another one of those type of just get it and throw it on dresses. Um, but I like this color on me. I think this is a nice color on me. What do you guys think about the dress? <laughs> I feel like I'm about to go salsa dancing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this dress and all the other clothes that I tried on in this haul. And now I'm just gonna put it back to Tiani because I'm done trying on all the stuff and she'll talk to you some more okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed that I enjoyed trying them on that's basically everything that I got so far <laughs> let's pray that this thing ends soon I'm getting restless but yeah follow me on Instagram TikTok all my social medias to keep up with me outside of YouTube obviously and Yeah, that's all I have to say, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I post. Because I'm thinking about getting on a consistent schedule. I was thinking, trying out posting one hair video a week. And then another video, just like, whatever. 
else I'd want to do. I just know I've been getting a lot of requests to post more hair stuff, so I'm gonna try to do that. I think this would be like the best way just to keep up with people's demands and plus doing stuff that I still think are fun videos. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. I'm gonna try to do that. I'll try to get some days that I'm just gonna do it on consistently, but for now I'm just gonna focus on trying to post twice a week in general and then I'll try to get on specific set days that I'm gonna post on but yeah I'm trying guys I'm trying <laughs> um but thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and now I'm about to leave bye guys I'm gonna make some tiktoks One more time. Hey. Okay. 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 I'm changing.